हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट 2015 एग्जाम सेट थ्री या इट्स अ टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन लेट्स रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग कोड सीक्वेंस हैविंग फाइव इंस्ट्रक्शंस फ्रॉम आई वन टू आई फाइव ईच ऑफ दीज इंस्ट्रक्शंस हैज द फॉलोइंग फॉर्मेट ऑपरेशन आर आई आर जे आर के वेयर ऑपरेशन ओ पी इज परफॉर्म्ड ऑन द कॉन्टेंट्स ऑफ रजिस्टर आर जे एंड आर के and the result is stored in register ri then you can just see this code it has five lines consider the following three statements also have a look at these three statements they are saying which one of the above statement is correct okay so the first statement s1 is there is an anti dependency between instruction i2 and i5 instruction i2 and i5 they are saying there is anti dependency between these two point number 1 what is anti dependency w a r kind of dependency is also known as anti dependency we have already studied this topic in theory lectures but still i am repeating when instruction i is reading something it is re reading the register r x a and instruction j immediately next to it is writing something in the same register r x you will say there is a w a r kind of dependency write after read that means read happens first so read happens first then you write okay now i2 is reading r1 and r3 but i5 is writing r7 so there is nothing in common that means statement number 1 s1 is false okay uh, let's just see example of this dependency wr kind of dependency uh r3 and r3 so here you will have this dependency between i2 and i4 i think this one is statement number 2 yeah statement number 2 says there is an anti dependency between instructions i2 and i4 i2 and i4 so we have already seen there's this anti dependency okay so statement number s2 is correct s1 it's false s2 is true now let's examine the statement s3 s3 says within an instruction pipeline an anti dependency always creates one or more stalls it's false there's this word always anti dependency will not always create a stall because many times or most of the times we can just use the technique of register renaming if you don't know about this method please watch my theory lectures i have discussed it there but such kind of dependencies can be solved with the help of register renaming so s3 is also false because they are saying always okay so the only statement true is s2 your answer here is only s2 it is option b maybe yeah option b only s2 is true